Greetings and welcome to the last part of the project O'Neill. In this unfortunately last episode uh, we will print the rest. So what would it be? What would it be? Uh, it would be the bottom, those three pieces, those uh, they are only three, they are quite big and they will take quite a lot of time to print. Then we will print the vertical wings and last but not least all the cannons. So yeah, if we take a look at only those parts that will be printed today, it will be this. So yeah. We have quite a lot of uh, prints to do, but uh, once that is done, we will assemble it and we will basically be finished. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to actually show in the details uh, all the pieces. It's relatively straightforward. So uh, without further ado, let's go straight to the printing. Okay, so here we have the parts for the for the bottom so first we will attach the bottom i will start with this part because it will basically uh, make the wings stop wobbling i had to use some force but it's attached and now we have to add those layers. So first I will start with this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now this one. And it would be a little problematic because of those gills here. Even though I made their um, allowance uh, tolerance uh, I didn't account for additional layer and I had to put a layer of paint I mean and I had to put it here so um, yeah it will be a little problematic but don't worry in the finishing files I uh, took care of it and made the gap uh, bigger so Yeah, 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 I had to use some force, but it is there. So, so the main body is done and yeah, it holds together quite sturdy. It's quite strong. The last piece really help with all that wobble for the, for the wings. Anyway, here we have the parts for the for the secondary or for the uh, vertical wings so yeah. one and two okay so we have this piece and we have one piece and the second So yeah, when they are clamped together, we have this little clamp that will go here and clamp the two together. Now, uh, as you can see here, it's quite a big gap on both sides. Um, I actually uh, corrected the model to uh, avoid such a thing. Now, uh, so if you will print this, you won't have this issue. However, um, I am actually uh, thinking about putting a glue here to actually uh, seal, seal, the, seal the gap. So I will do that, but I will not bother you with this. 
and then we oh, basically do the same for the second ring and put the clamp there as well like this Okay, so that's both of them. Now I will rotate it. Um, I have a little problem with these parts. I made a very big tolerance and now they don't hold on their own. As before, I already fixed this for the models, but uh, I don't really want to print it again just because I made this uh, a little bit th a little bit a bit thin. So I decided that because we have a flat surface here and here that I will simply glue it in. Yeah, it goes against what I'm trying to do, but uh, it's uh, almost uh, I believe uh, one and a half or two hours uh, print each of them. And I don't really want to waste my time with it because otherwise, other than that, they are perfectly printed. So, so yeah, I will simply, simply glue it in. So before I will do that, let's just take these vertical wings, and as you can see here, it has this peg that goes here, and the same here. So yeah. I will insert them and then yeah, we will uh, glue this. Okay, so now uh, I applied the glue to the legs, I guess, and uh, I will leave it for now so that it solidifies, but I kind of decided that I will leave those vertical things as they are. I won't use the glue because that gap, yeah, it's there, but it's not that... Uh, it's not the worst so uh, I decided I will leave it like that anyway so we will uh, wait until it solidifies but yeah take a look how the third leg, er, third leg works I'm really happy how it actually turned out anyway we will uh, wait until the glue uh, do, does its job and then we will attach the cannons and the model will be done Okay, so now as you can see, uh, it is finished. I am sorry that I did not record how I inserted all those uh, cannons, but it was uh, quite delicate work, so I had to work on my workbench, and there I unfortunately uh, don't have any space for camera. But it's basically putting uh, cannons to those holes, this uh, to this pack and these two uh, to the to the holes it's as i said very uh, delicate thing uh, so much so that i actually managed to break this one and uh, so far it's uh, glued together but i will eventually print out a new one and insert it there i didn't simply want to uh, i didn't want to uh, waste time uh, printing and painting the other one Anyway, yeah, that kind of means that the O'Neill is actually finished. Those two legs are glued together. Don't worry, you won't uh, have to glue anything. And uh, I eventually decided to use the glue to the fins as well, so the gap is not that prevalent as before though yeah from behind it's still visible but not not that bad okay and the great thing is that as you can see the feature works and yeah now it's ready to take out some replicators and now it is ready to be displayed somewhere the thing is that i don't even have a space for this uh, bad boy yet but it doesn't matter 
Okay. Okay, uh, the uh, only thing that I would like to mention is that I re re had a really a hard time with those two cannons. All those others I uh, did as one print and it was great, but those I had to print five times. There were four, four fails. Uh, first, I tried to print them uh, vertically in standing position, but they always break. Uh, sorry, they always broke, so uh, I eventually decided to print them uh, flat with supports and that worked, but yeah, I wanted to mention that. Okay, so this is the O'Neill class spaceship. I hope you liked it. The Well, painting is not that great, but yeah, still good. I have to say that I'm really, really happy that this thing works. And it really does look great, I think. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other uh, in the next project. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.